This is a private session with Crew 10 up in Chiang Mai's Santai gym. Pay attention to his leg that he pulls back. I tripped him with it first and then the leg came back so that I can knee. You don't want to leave it in the front after the trip. This is the next one where he basically just steps past me to off balance me and then knees that wide open side. See how his side just stretches and opens up when he goes off balance? That is a beautiful point. And then see how he brings his legs so wide for that knee? That's not only so that you can get good power on it, but it is very dramatic for the point. That's a huge point. Instead of pulling someone on the neck, you're gonna be pushing someone's neck as you step to the side. Stepping to the side is what creates the tension and torque that's gonna allow them to turn. But I'm pulling my body away from him. When he does it, he kind of stays really close to me. He's sticky. I'm doing this whole like yanking thing, which requires a lot more power. But flowing back and forth between these different techniques, you can feel how as a knee fighter, all of these just flow into each other. It's like this never ending burn. So what I'm doing is a dominant position pushing on his chin. So he's showing how to get out of it. Oftentimes people will try this pushing on the chin to create space. So he grabs my arm across and then steps. See how he steps as that arm swips, his, his arm swims out as he's stepping. And then he's just using his forearm on the back of my neck to like help me face dive. <laughs> And he's saying you can keep doing it. They're one of his awesome techniques for like a trip. This is timing with exchanges and knees. But the important part is the step and then the push with the arm. And just tap it with the spin. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So he just said bao bao, which means like gentle. This is another one you'll find yourself in a lot in Thailand. Um, especially Thai female fighters like to do this uh, knee on the body against the ropes. Very good. So it's the scissoring of the arms again. So see, right there when he was pulling on my arms, he's showing that there's tension. You wait for there to be tension. You step in in order to create the tension in, in the distance between you. I loved yeah. this one. So you don't want to fight against, you don't want to just try to crawl on someone. You can step back, but if they're really strong, you take the foot with you and then kick. He's like, or just do this. He's <laughs> like, Farang loves to do this. So see how by him just trying to push against me, now I have the advantage because I can block and then knee, block and then knee. It's one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> he just throws me on the ground. Beautiful. But I'm in a locked position, but he has leverage on this side because of the way my arm is stretched up. Look at his right arm and his left foot. So I wasn't understanding like how to like step past him. Like, <laughs> like you walk through. <laughs> he just did it from a standstill. <laughs> this is the counter to the teeth. You just get out of the way. Yeah. By getting out of the way, the person is off balance as they land. <laughs> so see how I'm off balance and he just caught it? All he did was catch it. Mm. And now he's using his knees and elbows to parry it. It's not fun. <laughs> it hurts so bad. So he's saying this is really important for Muay Cao fighters because teeth is like the enemy of Muay Cao because you come in straight so much. And if you want to be done, like you just want to be walking in, you got to be able to deal with what they're trying to hit you with. But you can see how you can like just not even break pace and just kind of keep pushing someone back. And then they get on the ropes and you punish them that way. It's so nasty. It's such a cool style. <laughs> He's excited now. <laughs> the right energy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, sure. Oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Uh.